recommend seeing a, you know, a psychologist or a doctor or something, but, um, because I'm not going to diagnose people. Right. <laughs> but you, but would, it is, I mean, it seems like with you finding that information now, it has helped you. It just seems like, like it, it almost like you lit up just having that information, knowing that information, you know, um, is that, is that has, is, is that, help you in with decisions and, and, and why you do what you do in, yes. in, in every day? If you don't know, if you don't understand yourself, how are you supposed to run a business? Like, wow. how are you supposed to create something of value? Mm. How can you give to, to other people with this business, you know, <laughs> with that you, you want to be able to provide value, like any, most good businesses. How do you do that if you don't understand yourself? Like, and your business is a relationship with others. So like, yeah, like understanding that is a total game changer. And I would say that is the, like, under, like whether it's ADHD or something else, even if you have zero problems, we all have little quirks and issues. Mm -hmm. And so if you can understand those things, then you will go far. Like that is my one biggest advice, business advice is understand who you are and what you want. And then you will be able to, to chase whatever it is that's important because otherwise it's okay to have different interests and to do different things. But like, like you said, wait till this thing matures, like the person who's always going to different things, it, it, it they're lacking something. There's something right. in there that it's like, this thing isn't enough. Okay. Well, and that's fine. Maybe it isn't enough. So why don't you figure out what is enough? Right. And stop right. Bouncing, bouncing around, you're not going to be happy. And right. you're not going to be able to serve anyone with your services. What if you're, if you're an electrician, want to start an electrical company, plumber, HVAC, you know, tile, whatever it is. Like, if you like, if you know that you like that thing, like this channel is for construction entrepreneurs. Right. And I'm sure there's people in finance that would love to start <laughs> electrical companies. <laughs> right. <laughs> or we are in this and we want to start something over there. So it's just like, you know, you need to figure out what you want and then do that thing. And then you will be able to have a successful business. Like you will be able. To. I agree. I agree. I think, um, um, I think a lot of us battle with, especially early on, because when I was young, I didn't know I wanted to be a construction worker. Right. I didn't know I wanted to be a construction <laughs> owner. Right. right. <laughs> but you're right. Like you said, if you like it a little bit, just do it. You know, and, 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 and give it time to mature and not expect that short term, you know, success, right? That, that big success. Of course, you need those little wins, but right. just give it the time, man, you know, and take your step and plan it out, right? And, um, and recognize, you said something earlier. I don't mean to interrupt you, but you said something earlier about, about, um, oh, what did you say? You said something about, uh, time to mature and I just I just think that like oh that we shelve off our emotions like if we're like oh, right I, right I really feel, you know x y and z like I'm fine like right no like if you are struggling and you're still in that waiting period like just acknowledge that mm. just, acknowledge, just see be okay with it you know that's that's good acknowledge yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. it's a re it's re those are real feelings we don't have to cave under them. You know, it doesn't mean that you're less of a man because you have feelings and you don't have to like be emotional and share it with everyone, but just recognize that, yes, this is how I'm feeling. It sucks, but it's just the way that I'm feeling wow. right wow. now. Like it's okay to feel like that. It's okay to, to have struggles. It's okay to be scared, all of that. Just like, let yourself be that, but just know what it is. <laughs> don't, you know don't, let your victim, don't let your emotions play you as a victim. You know, don't, right. be, don't be a victim. That's so true. We, 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 like you said, we tend to push it off and then we don't acknowledge it. We don't acknowledge it at all, let alone put a label to it so we can address it, you know. Um, we, we, we tend to brush it off. But in this, in, this, in this entrepreneur world, not just in the construction industry, but just being an entrepreneur, cause, and everybody wants to be an entrepreneur now. Right. But just yeah. in this entrepreneur world, 
the the mindset and stress and and, and this is is it's almost like you 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 supposed to take all these blows and be fine take all these blows and 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 not 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 um not shed a tear not show right. emotion you know or or and then <clears throat> and then we're stuck with you know n- no one around us is really giving us <clears throat> the uh, maybe some of us need a pat on the back that we're not getting. Maybe some of us need yeah. um, uh, 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 the personal development in our life. You know, I didn't always have personal development in my life. It took a while for it to come to me. Right? Someone introduced yeah. me to this. You know, you have to be open. I wasn't until last year. So like, what? What? <laughs> what? No exception. <laughs> what, what did you, you know, I'm glad we got onto that. What was your thoughts about personal development before you got into it? I thought it was like straight up BS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being like, honestly, I was just like, yeah, like, let's all be happy. That makes sense. Like, I can drive with that. Like, why is this such a big industry? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I just th- I thought honestly I was just like this is this is nice you know for those people that like it but I'm 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 normal like I'm I'm, I'm like I, I don't have any issues and like come to find out I'm like super messed up in the best right. way, you know because we all are we all we all have yes. our own things yes like but if you don't acknowledge that it's just like okay you're just gonna get to that you're gonna plateau. And you can't break through that ceiling. It's not going to happen. So uh, I think I think we all need it. I think you you, you need it, and uh, and and especially being an entrepreneur, you need to constantly feed that because it it almost helps you battle against the other side of things, right? It helps you. Uh, 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 it's it's almost like your tools, you know. And and a lot of stuff you hear on it is stuff you know. Right. You know, right. it's just hearing it again, you know, um, and hearing it from someone else, you know, and that's why this, this interview is going to help someone, you know, hearing it from you, you know, you're going to relate to someone, someone's going to connect to you and be like, you know what? Yeah, I do need to do different. Yeah, I, I do need to do things uh, uh, um, in a different way and see things in a different light and maybe take on personal development or take on whatever else they need to take on. But uh, let me ask you this. Now that, you know, you, you, you uh, I wouldn't say you have everything, but um, you have your business, you, you, you're in personal development. Um, what's, what's next for David? You know, what's next for David in the next three, six, nine months? <laughs> yeah. So, what? Like I said, I'm trying to do some more of that marketing, but I've realized that I can't. You know, you can't do everything at once. You gotta, you gotta be able to. Um, you know, you have to be able to to know what your priorities are. So right now, like I have to focus on my, my business here right now. So coming out, well, I had a really, really strong winter, and so I'm anticipating a lot of. Um, a lot more work especially because last summer was pretty busy even just starting out i didn't expect this winter to be so busy so i'm probably gonna have to i have one employee i'm probably gonna have to hire at least another one or two employees so Mm -hmm. growth i see some growth this year excuse me i think and then um um yeah like i i i i want to try to start structuring my business And I think that this is a good point too, because like a lot of construction businesses are very, very difficult to exit from. And I'm Mm -hmm. super young. I'm not talking about retiring right now because I don't want to retire. Right. But like, like if you don't have an exit strategy for your company, it's a very, you have a very, very poor um, bargaining power if you ever chose to sell it or give it away or train someone else. Oh, wow. Wow. So, I'm going to try to start at least, you know, educating the people that I employ more on just kind of how it runs. And, you know, someday you, you want to be able to give that off. And if you're an entrepreneur, like chances are you're not going to just want one business, you know, like after time, like let your business develop and then maybe you could sell it, start a new one or, or like have, have someone else manage that and start something new. Right. And like, you know, that's the name of the game. This isn't, this isn't, 
to just like start your construction business. You know, we are entrepreneurs and we have aspirations and things we want to do. So I want to be able to develop that marketing business a little bit more because that's something that I could really, you know, be anywhere and do. So, yeah, like it's a, it, there's a lot of money to be made in construction that, that is untapped and more and more people aren't going into it. So I think if you are interested in it and you have an entrepreneur spirit, then you can do really, really good. Yeah, I think, I think so too. I think this industry is huge. Um, I think long as the people that's getting into it realize the, the, the risks involved, you know, like within the industry, but you know, construction is, has its own risks. Uh, but that's good to hear that, 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 um, you know, as you do continue to build, you got other ideas and, 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 and other great businesses that you're planning on being, being into in the near future. Right. That's good, man. And uh, we're going to be here watching you. So you better, you better make sure you make it happen. <laughs> so, hey, um, you know, uh, I want to uh, bring this to uh, uh, an end here. Is there anything else that uh, you feel that you need to share out here with these construction entrepreneurs? Um, you know, especially a lot of the new guys getting into the industry. Um, what are some of the tips, things that you can you share with them that they you feel that they should know or pay attention to? Sure. So a couple of things. I would say that if you're just starting out, um, just give yourself that time to mature. Like be able to recognize as, as difficulties mount up and come up, just realize that that's to be expected. Like you, mm. you should be having difficulties that that kind of mount up and and um just just think through them you know it's not the end of the world like and think mm. what is the absolute worst thing that could happen right now like it's usually not as bad as you think it is <laughs> if you just think about it like even if you were even if you think you're going to lose your business when you really think about it what's the worst thing that could happen and if you're an entrepreneur like that is it, it doesn't really matter what it is it's it's not going to be as bad as you think it is really it's not so and then just just like there's so many people selling this thing the, the entrepreneur lifestyle as like the, the thing to do you know but you have to realize if you are an entrepreneur first there's no there's nothing wrong with not being one first of all if you genuinely aren't because not everyone magically became an entrepreneur in 20 20- 17 to 2019 you know so it's okay like there's like we need employees and we need managers and all this stuff too like not everyone is 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 going to be a good owner you know and it, it's, it's okay because it's at the end of the day like i'm not doing this just for the money like you can make a lot of money being an owner but like it's more important to, to have the, the life that you want the experiences that you want so don't don't just if you're chasing this entrepreneur thing, don't chase it for the money. Chase it because you love to be an entrepreneur and you are interested in the business. Because because that then you you will you will succeed if you do that. If you have a good reason for doing that, then then do that. If you want if you need money, then then get you know get a job, get a job, make some money. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, that's um man, that's a real good point there. That um that first one there where, where you mentioned about um um uh, look at it as if uh what's the worst thing that can happen? I always ask myself with every issue that come up that hit home with me, I always ask and I tell my partners, what is the worst thing that can happen right now? Okay. And most likely it's not me going out of business. Right. You know, most That's likely like, it's, it's something else, you know, uh, you know, and, 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 and it's definitely something that you can deal with, you know? Right. Because, because who controls whether or not you go out of business? Oh yeah, we do. I do. Right. You do. Right. Yeah. If, if you, if you lose all of your customers, are you going out of business or are you going to no. fight to like, you know, because you're an entrepreneur. So worst case scenario is, you lose it all. You lose everything. But if you want this thing, you're gonna you're gonna rise up and you're gonna get it. So 
It's not going to be the end of the world. Yeah. And like the harder you, the harder you fail, like you have so much experience at that point. Like I almost look forward to the next time I fail because it's just like whatever I do next is just going to be crazy and it's going to be big and like. Yes. That's why that's yep. why I created this channel to share so much because I I have failed I I I have a lot to to say I have a lot to share uh, as far as these experiences it, it's it's crazy you're you're so right um, this failure it it is re, it's it's required mm -hmm. it's a requirement you know that you you must push you must fail it, and and also too is is not only failing but recognizing the you know whatever you want to call it a failure or uh, a learning you or you aren't a failure the right. failure happened right you're not a failure no right. and, and and maybe one thing that i haven't really been speaking a lot about is, is your own self-worth you have a lot to mm. offer you know you really really do and when i say failure i don't mean that you are a failure because i don't think that people are failures right I, that I think that people do fail at times and 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 all that means it's, it's the same thing as making a mistake you know and, and when we make a mistake we learn from it so the only the only time you're a failure is if you if you just sink you know right and, and for, like for good which most people don't <laughs> right um, right but but you you get you know like you guys have so much to offer this industry and, and this mindset that's so popular right now, combine that with being like, doing construction, like, man, we have a lot to offer this industry. You should be super, super, um, you should be patting yourself on the back if you're even interested in this because it's a really, what a noble field of work, you know, to be building for others. Like we're the foundation of so much that is going to be happening wow. in the future. So you should feel very, very satisfied with your life. And if you fail, wow. just know that it's just, it's like, it's part of the process, man. It's just part <laughs> of it. That's good. That's good, David. That's good, man. All right. Um, wrap this thing up, man. That, that was good, <laughs> man. Thank you for your time there, man. Yeah. That was pretty awesome, man. Um, Thanks for having uh, me. I appreciate it. 10-4.